Hello everyone, Dean on the street. I'm in Stony Brook, Long Island, New York, here on the east end of North Shore, beautiful North Shore. If anyone doesn't know where it is, you gotta come out of here. It's 65 miles east from Manhattan, and it's a real special town out here, Stony Brook. And I'm really excited because I got some really special guests to introduce you today. Uh, I wanna introduce you to the president and founder of this beautiful building called the Jazz Loft. His name is Dr. Tom Manuel. Tom, say hello. Good to see you all out there. Okay. Doctor? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. You know, it's funny, I've got a little bit of a pain when I do this. It's a $50 copay. Oh, right. Come on, I'll go running. I'll go see my this other, this, other, this other young man is Danny Batcher. Doctor. Doctor. Backer. Backer. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not a Danny doctor. Danny Backer. I'm still okay. in high school. And I was told, I was told, I've got to come meet <laughs> Danny Backer. Uh, saxophonist, musician, writer, comedian, singer, well, singer, my, okay. my, my mother tremendous I'm, performer, my mother very funny. and Long Island Newsday, Long Island Newsday this week has said it's got to be one of the top 10 events this weekend on Long Island, and I'm really excited to see Danny perform here, and this is an unbelievable place if you've never been to it called the Jazz Law. So these are the guys, very excited here to speak to them. We're going to first start with uh, uh, Tom. Tom, listen, the Jazz Loft. Tell my audience, tell everybody about how this got started, how you got, you know, how you founded it, what goes on here, just everything, it's all yours. Sure. Well, the Jazz Loft is a destination location here on Long Island in New York and, and in New England. It is one of the few venues that is completely dedicated to the art form of jazz. We have a 6,000 square foot building here that is a museum filled with original memorabilia spanning the last hundred years. We have this beautiful performance space that we're in now uh, with a bandstand that could accommodate a big band and this is where our performances happen and we also have a lot of educational events as well and programming for children, programming for kids with special needs, programming for people with memory loss. It's just a real special place that has really become a real gift to the community. And, and as you said, Stony Brook Village is such a beautiful place. It's just a, a great time out. You know, you come, you have dinner, you catch a show, you go take a walk down by the water, check out the beach, go shopping. Danny <laughs> likes the chocolate <laughs> shop. Oh, it's one of the, you know, Tom, one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't know about you two guys, but whenever my wife Sharon and I have traveled, you know, People never heard of Satoka, Stony Brook, Port Jefferson, mm -hmm. this whole three village area. Yeah. And uh, the town is just buzzing about uh, the jazz law. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, I, I'd say a lot of people, what they first say to me is, uh, you've brought uh, a, a Greenwich Village mm -hmm. uh, type of feel to the community here with the jazz law. And you get tremendous. Minus the pigeons. <laughs> tremendous, <laughs> tremendous talent. Uh, instead. How, how, how often do you have? acts and performances here and yeah we have a, a pretty regular calendar and we have three big bands that are in residence we have a, a weekly jam session that happens and then like you said we get the um, national and international acts that come through here we do our programming year in advance so if, if you check out our calendar and check out our website you'll see what's coming up for 2018 very cool very cool as he, as tom said besides coming to the jazz law we have some great great restaurants and clubs down here also to enjoy throughout this community, okay? So if you're, fly, if you're flying into New York this weekend, or you're in the city or the five boroughs, New Jersey, Connecticut, you even got the ferry to come over from Port Jeff, from Bridgeport over right. to Port Jefferson, it's only about 15 minutes, you gotta come here to the Jazz Loft, okay? And now we're gonna get to this guy, okay? Because he's some act, Danny Backer. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. New Jersey boy. That's right. Yeah. Right? I'm a New Jersey, Jersey boy. boy. There's so many of us. Good sense of humor, too. I try. Yeah. I try. It happens in New Jersey. I think you need one in Jersey, otherwise you're crying. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's uh, my pleasure to be a part of this uh, concert series coming up. We had a uh, great uh, rehearsal the other night, and we're having another one today, and I think it's swinging, you know. Uh, we've got a killing band. Tom put together this program. We've got some arrangements of some really uh, hip popular, uh, you know, uh, holiday numbers from the past, as well as, uh, well, they sort of have a contemporary twist to them, but it's just fun music, and we're doing about eight tunes that I'll be doing with the big band, and then, of course, they're also doing um, an instrumental segment 
uh, based on the uh, Nutcracker, uh, Duke Ellington's Nutcracker that he did with uh, Billy Strayhorn. And it's, Beautiful. heard him last night, it's, it's spectacular. So I think it's gonna be a great show. And it's my honor, I've been out now, I guess coming for about a year, right, Tom, doing different yeah, a shows? A little over a year, right? A little over a year, I, I started doing, we, we put together a show that was all sort of like a tribute to Sinatra and the Basie Big Band. And that was my first uh, encounter with Tom. And uh, it's sort of been a, a great friendship since, you know, we, we, we're kind of cut from a similar cloth. You know? This is the second time. This is the second time in two weeks the name Sinatra is coming up. Is that right? Yeah, I did a great Dean on the Street show in Manhattan about two weeks ago. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, with a uh, Italian restaurant called Patsy's Italian oh, Restaurant sure. yeah, on, yeah. on West Fifty Six, yeah, yeah. close to Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Lovely generation yes. uh, of family for three oh, for yeah. three you know three family histories. Yeah, and, Sinatra uh, used to go there. Uh, it was Sinatra's favorite place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But listen, how did it all start with you? I mean, why why the saxophone? Uh, who'd you, who, well, who'd you I'll, admire the I'll most? I'll tell you uh, what, I, I know that you know when, when I was thinking, I guess I was about 10 years old, and I really wanted to, you know, I was always kind of musical, and I wanted to play an instrument. And I said to my parents, I, I narrowed it down to two instruments, and they were very eager to find out what, what it was. And I said, saxophone or drums? And my parents looked at each other and said, saxophone. I think I know why that would be the case, you know. Uh, so I started playing, and you know, I just kind of took to it pretty quick. But before I could even read music, my grandparents were really into the um, big band era. And I'm, I'm sure Tom has a similar story. He got into it through, your grandfather was really influential, right? And uh, so my grandparents just loved that music. And, and I spent a lot of time with them, so they were very influential in the style of music that I liked. And if I may digress, I was, you know, trying to figure out what I was supposed to like in fifth grade. People would, you know, give me, what do you like? You know, Def Leppard at the time and all these right. bands. And I couldn't get into it. But I was like, all right, I like Benny Goodman. I like Count Basie. I like Ellington. And they thought that was crazy. Super. But uh, I just kind of listened to the records. And I'd start to play along with them. So before I could read music, I was playing all the parts. Trombone parts, trumpet parts. And I didn't decipher. I just played along with all that and got into the sound and the tone. And so I played for a long time before I started singing. And then, of course, um, you know, got into the singing, and it became a whole package. So, you know, I spent many years professionally as an actor and a writer and a comedian with my brother. We had a comedy team and did a lot of off-Broadway stuff. We had our own off-Broadway show, toured nationally, internationally. And, uh, you know, things happen in life, you know, where uh, my brother got into teaching, and he got married, and I got married. And, uh, you know, he, I guess want a little more stability, um, and, and of course acting and music, that's really stable. You know, I, you never know what, what's gonna happen from week to week, but I don't know, I'm more of a gambler, I guess, you know. Uh, so I, I kinda took the plunge, got into uh, my music again uh, after I got married and uh, focused on that. Wow. So, yeah, wow. it's, it's been going great since. Listen, I gotta ask you, Danny, I got a feeling that if we keep letting this running, yeah. we're gonna have a two, three hour show. Oh, okay? easy, easy. We should call it the Danny Becker and Dean on the Street Show. All right, right. with a little okay. Tom but I've, for good But, I, <laughs> but I, 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 I've gotta ask you, you know, all these things, you're, you're extremely creative, very talented. Is there anything that you don't do? Windows. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I compare that? You know what I compare that to? What? When people say all that I have to do with my show, right. I say the only thing I, I used to do before I learned how to do my own show and all the things that go behind the scenes uh -huh. is I only changed light bulbs in my house. That oh. was the only thing that well, I well, did. That, so when this says the window, let me tell you okay. something. Yeah, I'm but, still working on teaching my wife how to change light bulbs, but uh, you know. Hey, listen, this, is, <laughs> this has been this has been a lot of fun. This Thanks. has been a lot of fun, oh, I'm, and I'm really yeah. excited. And we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna spend, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna cover a lot more. Yeah, with, you gotta see this with, place. This with place Tom Manuel and the Jazz Law. It, it is just, you gotta come down here. This is an incredible museum. Tom. It's just unbelievable. Um, Where are you going, Sharon? Really, it's, oh, no, really, it's, it's, it's really an unbelievable place <laughs> that you gotta come down to. Um, Tell some of the things you have in the museum. Is this just like some of like the real big highlights? Right, but. Uh, hour-long video of Danny's first saxophone lesson. Wow. Yeah, it's really it's really fantastic. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think there were several pencils broken on my knee just to learn how to count. Hey, listen, you're going you're gonna to see Dean on the street here with Tom Manuel a lot here. It's unbelievable what goes he's on got here at the Jazz He's got some of Louis Jordan saxophones. And this guy, too. He's got so. five of Louis Jordan's ex-wives on display downstairs. That's right. It's remarkable. you got to... Hey, hey, Danny, thank, thank you, thank you hey, so listen, much. Hey, listen, I'm s I can't wait to... Sharon and I can't wait to see you perform over oh, the weekend. Oh, you know I can't that? wait for you okay. to come hopefully down. We can get to, hopefully we can get tickets. 
Oh, I think so. Okay. I think so. I'm sure that's not a lot. They're going fast. They're going fast. Okay. Uh, definitely come down. You're going to love the show. It's just a lot of fun. We have a great time. You know, we just keep it loose and have a lot of fun. And uh, the music yeah. is, is superb, you know. And swinging. And it's better than any of the other jazz clubs in Stony Brook, right? That's right. You bet. That's right. I'm telling you, it's like Greenwich Village down here, it right is. in Stony Brook. But yeah. uh, thanks to both you guys. Thank it's you. been, a, it's Thank been you. a lot of fun. I can't wait to do it again with you. And uh, until next time, catch you on the street.